Hello Libra, Elsie here to do your reading for the month ahead. We are looking at the month of November this week, Libra. Thank you so much for clicking here. I do appreciate you. I'm here with an Oracle deck. This is going to tell us what energy you're bringing into the month of November. Libra, if you are here for the first time, welcome. If you're just rolling on up in these shenanigans here. Um, thank you so much for wanting to take a look at this video. Uh, whether you are a Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, uh, or you are cross-watching for someone else. Let's um, find out what's going on for you, Libra. Look, there is a subscription button in the bottom right-hand corner of this box where I live. If you're interested in joining this tribe, which is growing quite well, Libra, you're doing a beautiful job. If you're the ride or die, thank you so much for all the ways you love on this channel and the ways that you are uh, great with the views and thumbs up. It's building this tribe. Let's talk about Libra. Tell me about Libra. What is the energy that Libra is bringing in to the month of November? We have overcome any obstacles. I kind of love that. I feel like somebody here has been dealing in maybe, and I think I said this to you before, Libra, throughout the last couple of weeks, that maybe you are coming out of some sort of situation of lack or feeling like it, when things weren't working out for you or feeling like why can't it be my turn this time like it feels like that sort of energy but you're going to be overcoming a lot of those obstacles i think your third eye is open in the month of november i want to say the month of november scorpio offers us you know a chance to get in touch with ourselves emotionally get in touch with our psychic intuition our psychic energy right going diving really deep that's sort of what the energy is and uh, we are already in Scorpio energy. Um, so overcoming any obstacles. I feel like this is going to be a month of you kind of checking things off the list. Things that you have have been sort of hanging over you for a while. And um, I feel like it's, uh, it's um, going to be a month of you uh, overcoming things that have sort of been making you feel a little bit in lack. Card number 50, right, is a five. We do have uh, the starfish spirit. It says open to infinite possibilities. Um, we have uh, card number 14. It is about balance, right? And uh, we've got 59, which is a 14. And um, 14 is temperance. I feel like this month is going to be a month of balance for you. Infinite possibilities and overcoming. Some things that I feel that you have been... <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> things that, you, that have been... Um, I'm going to say irking you or irritating you. It's like a little gnat. It's like you're you're doing this, right? I feel like it's whatever things that are, are act, coming at you this month, I feel like you're finally just going to take care of that thing once and for all. All right. First card I'm going to put down with uh, the tarot here. Tell me about Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. First card putting down with the tarot uh, is what are you supposed to be leaving behind? What is it that you are not supposed to bring with you into November? What is uh, Libra leaving behind in the month of November? Tell me about Libra. We've got uh, the Ten of Swords. So Libra, I feel like what you're leaving behind is anything that... I feel like this is telling me that you're letting a lot of stuff go. Mentally, I want to say that you've been carrying around some things that you've been thinking and overthinking and I don't think this is anything that anyone has done to you but I feel like the pain of being in the ten of swords and not being able to let it go it's that place where you're in the overthink tank and you just can't seem to let it go because eight swords is where we can't get out of right it's like the prison of the mind and then the two swords is um is the block so it feels like the eight and the two coming together are saying it's time for you to release all of these things here, the lack, the burden, the things that are not serving you, it's time for you to release any of it. It doesn't matter. It's nothing specific. I would say anything that is causing you to feel in lack, that's what you need to be leaving in the past. Um, and uh, what should your inward focus be for the month of November, Libra? What should your inward focus be? Oh, I love that. Your heart space. Yeah, loving the self, your inward focus, you're turning the love on you instead of making sure that everyone around you feels loved. I think it's time for you to turn the focus inward here. Um, what is the outward focus for the month of November? We do have the Four of Wands. So people are going to see you as being someone who is quite stable in a stable home with a stable family or a stable relationship. I feel like this the fact that you're letting things go, just relieving yourself of things that, 
that maybe were on your mind and you don't really need to bring them into the new cycle. The new cycle is November 1st, by the way. It is November 1st is a new moon in Scorpio. So it is a new cycle. New moons are always about new doors opening. And I feel like the door that's opening for you is this beautiful self-love um, that you, instead of, of offering cups to other people, that you're keeping them for yourselves, which is really telling me that you're your home, whether you live alone or with family or a spouse or children, that it's um, it's pouring out over onto your home. Once you let these things go, you have stability of the heart space, and I think that's kind of lovely. Tell me what uh, what uh, Libra needs to reevaluate in the month of November. What's the reevaluation look like for for Libra? Two of Cups. I feel like somebody here is wanting to uh, express their love, somebody who wants to be reunited with a love. I feel like you need to reevaluate something that has to do with the Two of Cups. We'll clarify that a little bit, but it feel it does feel like maybe it's time to sort of revisit something or at least think about it again or something that may not have worked in the past may work now. This could be whether you're in a relationship right now or whether you're not. I feel like it's time to reevaluate the Two of Cups. When you're in a relationship, you should always be reevaluating the Two of Cups. And, you know, the Aces are beginnings and the Tens are the end of the cycle. So I feel like we're at the beginning of some sort of a love cycle here. All right, let's clarify just a little bit. Tell me what uh, what obstacles you might be overcoming here. It says overcome any obstacles. What sort of lack will Libra be overcoming in the month of November? We've got the tower. So I feel like... Um, this any obstacles that have been in your way are being removed by the tower and that's how you really know when something wonderful is about to show up like a manifestation or something that you've wanted is because things start to go bad i know it sounds counterintuitive but before you can move into the new cycle step into november 1st you might experience a tower over the next few days or maybe even to the first week of november it feels like um the tower comes to um to throw to the ground everything that was an illusion, everything that you thought was going on, right? You're, you're letting things go, which is causing a tower. We're getting rid of old energies to make room for new energies. We've got the Five of Wands. And we've got the Knight of Wands. So we do have Six Wands here. I feel like there is, um, there is victory over these obstacles that you've been dealing with we do have a five of ones which is a little bit of lack energy but we've got two fives here right the five five zero on the card and uh, we do have a five of ones for me when there's more than one five in a reading it's all about quick change so i do believe at the beginning of the month you have some sort of a quick change where you're able to release some things mentally and it's going to cause you to move forward um, with force. I'm going to say with the Knight of Wands, with passion, with force, I need to go out there and have fun and do the things I want to do. This person is looking like they're having a lot of fun. I'm just saying even the horse is having fun. But I feel like once all of this energy is cleared away for you, Libra, all of this energy that you really don't need, the competition, the, you know, striving to be better, and I feel like I'm not good enough for people, like it feels like that kind of energy, it feels like you're finally going to be able to release all of that because the tower is here. And I don't think it's going to be a devastating tower. I feel almost it's a release of the mind, I like the tower sh showing up so you can release things that are on your mind. Some For some of you, it's an old lover. Some of you, it is um, somebody in the past that maybe you were very very, um, very emotionally connected to, like psychically connected to. I feel like you're, you know, this this Seven of Wands is, is the only sort of depiction where I see somebody is being completely unbothered. The pink bubble is significant. I feel like you are protecting yourself from people who would try and um, give you unsolicited advice, for people that would try and bother you. I feel like you're sort of in an unbothered energy in the month of November. It does feel like with this Ten of Swords present here, that you are releasing um, old attachments to people that were emotionally draining for you. We do have the lovers here. I think it's a choice that you're releasing emotional attachments that were super draining for you and that you are now, you know, this person is on the pillow. They've got themselves, you know, their solar plexus chakra is, you know, is giving them energy to move ahead, uh, feeling comfortable, feeling um loved feeling 
calm feeling um, in your meditation practice maybe might might get a little bit better the meditation game might might take an upswing in the month of november um, tell me about this inward focus about the ace of cups i really love that you got the ace of cups in the inward focus we've got the seven of swords we've got the king of wands and we've got the um the world card in the reverse. I feel like the Ace of Cups being the inward energy, I feel it's almost like a forgiveness of something. It feels like somebody here, it's almost like you feel like you allowed someone here to get one over on you or somebody who I feel that you were very attracted to that you still feel like a tug or a pull toward. Um, the world card in the reverse tells me that there's a door here that needs to be closed that you have not quite closed just yet and I think we're talking about a door that maybe leads to the king of wands. It feels like there is somebody here who was less than honest with you, truthful with you. This may be somebody who you were attached to in the past romantically um, but it feels like with the seven of swords that this person you've realized was not very truthful with you it's time for you to close that door and I feel like the only way you're going to be able to close the door is by self-love I feel like the ace of cups is for you you're no longer giving it to the king of wands I feel like you're giving it to yourself and I feel like this if this is a person for you, it feels like there's somebody, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, uh, maybe Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, or Leo, somebody here was not truthful with you. I think that maybe you found out, and I feel that's why you go inward with the Ace of Cups. You're like, you know what? I'm just not giving people my energy anymore. If they're just going to abuse the privilege of having my love energy, I'm just not going to give it to them anymore. I do, really do feel that you need to work on closing this door, though, or somebody's apt to walk through again, but I think you're going to release them here. It's just time to close the door and end the chapter with them and that can be a little bit harder than it sounds right your external energy is the four of wands people are going to see you as someone who's happy and celebrating and stable and um, we've got the hanged man energy we've got the four of swords both about um, healing and being stable sturdy um, it feels like with the Four of Wands, that's stability. The Four of Swords is the same. The Four of Swords is telling me that you're going to be, people are going to be viewing you as someone who has really got it together, very stable in your mental health. Someone who sort of holds back and um, maybe gets a perspective before I say anything. Uh, Four of Swords is also about intermittent communication, a little bit here, a little bit there. I'm not sort of going to be telling everybody my plans. But the Hanged Man energy is significant because I feel like where you're hanging out is at your home. I want to say people can find you there. The Three of Pentacles is telling me that I feel like people are seeing you as someone who is a good friend, who's a stable friend, who's someone that they can come to with this card number 12, the Hanged Man is your intuitive energy, someone that, that will help them with their intuitive energy. It feels like there might be, for some of you, there might be a perspective um, like it feels like with the Four of Wands that people are seeing you as being stable in your home life. You might be choosing to change that. Um, it feels like you are yeah, it feels like for some of you, you could be moving, possibly. It feels like somebody's thinking about moving or selling the house. But I feel like it's a it's a far move. Like, I feel like you're moving out of state or moving to another part of the world. Like, it feels like a really, a really um, far move, I want to say. All right, let's look at what you need to reevaluate as the Two of Cups. The reevaluation coming with the Two of Cups for Libra. Please tell me about this. We do have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Magician. And we have the Ace of Swords. So I feel like the reevaluation comes with this Ace of Swords. That you know that you have the tools to carry a relationship pull something together, like meet somebody. It feels like you you might be ready for something new or a new opportunity and that you're feeling quite capable of that. It feels like you're capable of making, you know, conversation and, and giving people clarity. And it feels like with the two of cups here that that's exactly how you're going to meet somebody. If you're interested in meeting someone, it's like taking the invitations that show up in the 3D here, the Page of Pentacles is an opportunity or an invitation that you have all the tools, you're really good conversation conversationalist you're highly intelligent Libra and I feel like you meet somebody that way they start out as a friend and you start 
uh, getting to know someone just by simply, you know, texting or maybe face to face in the 3D or having coffee or, um, you know, just really getting to know somebody from head to toe before you decide to show them what kind of magic you really have. I feel like you are manifesting love, but I feel like you're manifesting a love with a lot of clarity, truth, honesty, and very solid and grounded energy. Uh, oh, look at that. We got the Ten of Cups. I feel like whatever starts here, whatever this reevaluation is, I feel it comes to this, comes to a place where you've decided that you want to be ultimately happy, possibly in a relationship. But in order to do that, you're going to have to leave this Nine of Wands behind. It's time to come out from behind the fear wall here and disconnect from that energy. Um, before you can go back to this. It almost feels like a coming a coming back round. It's like a it's like you're going to be closing this door here in the month of November I feel with the world. And when you do, that's when the new door opens, but the old door must be closed because you can't live both in the past and the present and the future at the same time. You've got to let go of the past in order to be in the present so you can you can think about the future. So it feels like you do have to disconnect from something whilst going back round again. I feel like for some of you that your financial stuff is going to look be really good <laughs> in the month of November. Finances are going to be good. Stability is going to be good. Opportunity is going to be good. It's um it's a uh, cyclical energy right this is jupiter energy so the wheel of fortune is telling me you're about to expand financially in your home i was saying somebody might be moving a home and making a really big move it could be that you might be deciding to do that at this time all right i'm gonna go for now thank you so much for being here and watching libra i do appreciate you i'm gonna go for now but i'll be back of course because i'm always back love you guys i'm out Bye bye